Welcome to an ordinary day in my life. Watch this vlog until the end if you don't believe a healthy lifestyle can be easy. By sharing my unpretentious healthy lifestyle, I'm not gonna convince you, but inspire you to live your best life. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Welcome to another day in my life. Happy spring! It's the first day of spring actually let's talk about spring in toronto i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm trying to make this darkness go away can you believe in this snow <laughs> we had a pretty mild winter and now the first day of spring the, no, the snow shows up <laughs> so that was my way home back from the gym i woke up early as usual i went to the gym and yes that was the landscape <laughs> how can i say but that's okay i still have high hopes for summer <laughs> anyhow i never give up on my dreams but it's okay today is wednesday you know what we do on wednesdays i love wednesdays i know you love as well because on wednesdays we go to costco i go to costco for my weekly grocery shop and i bring you with me i show you what i buy i explain why i buy what i buy so yeah going to have fun today with snow or without snow it's gonna be a good day but now i'm gonna prepare a coffee i have to edit a few videos and then i'm gonna take a shower because i just came back from the gym and then i'm gonna get ready and we are going to school let's start the day let's start spring kind of Won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late, now it's too late. It's our time to go to Costco. It's gonna take a little more than usual because this winter was so mild that we didn't change the tires. We didn't put the winter tires on the car and we didn't need it so far. But yeah, so I'm gonna see how is the weather right now when I come out of the building. But I'm kind of concerned to get the highway if the conditions are not good. Let's see. I hope we can do it. That is so beautiful. I don't have space for more. Good, only almonds in the ingredients list. That's good. I think I'm gonna get one. The healthiest protein 
ever, but we love to have this at home for Saturday night. Sometimes I, I make risotto or something. And yeah, it's high fat, but you know, for a good indulgence on a Saturday night, it's good. Pizza, so good. Our oh, Sunday pizza, and I get this as well because it's in olive oil, so it's always a good idea to have them home for when we need it. What do you want? What do you want from there? Of course, she likes the paper. I think it's I think it's the bananas. What do you want? What do you want from here? Bananas? Duck? What do you want? Back home, our weekly grocery. Let me show you a couple of things. First, I got this almond butter instead of peanut butter because first we have peanut butter. We still have peanut butter. But I think it would be interesting if if next time I bake my protein cookies, instead of using peanut butter, I use almond butter. I look at, at the label and it has only roasted almonds in the, in the ingredients list. So that's a good thing. If you already watched my vlogs, I told you that the best way to buy peanut butter is choosing one that has only peanut listed as ingredient. The same for almond butter. I've got organic strawberries for my husband's smoothie, bananas for him as well. Actually, actually this week I got two because the dog decided that she likes banana as well. So now they are kind of fighting over the bananas. What more? Cottage cheese. I always have cottage cheese here. You know why? I like to spread on my bread. I also like to prepare spreads or dips with cottage cheese. I think it's such a good idea to have them at home. I've got coffee beans. These ones are for my husband. He likes to make espressos with this particular bean. Smoked oysters. I like to put them on my Sunday pizzas. We love it's a quick source of protein and it's delicious. If you never try them on a pizza, try it. It's good. And I've got mackerel as well. I like to buy this mackerel because it's in olive oil. It's always the best option. Anytime you buy any fish, any fish in a can, try to find in olive oil. It's packed with omega trees and you know, the good fatty acids. And it's always a good idea to have them or to have sardines, tuna, 
in a in a can at home always in olive oil of course because it's a quick way to add more protein to any meal let's say you are preparing a tomato sauce for your spaghetti you just put mackerel or tuna or sardines and you have a protein boost speaking of easy protein mushrooms you can add to a salad or to a sauce and you have more protein this protein is not the healthiest one but it's a fun one it's duck duck is super fat it's a fat protein. I only cook duck on Saturday nights as a treat, as an indulgence, because I wouldn't recommend to have this on a daily basis for a normal dinner on a weekday. As I always say, the problem is not what you have on weekends. The problem is on a Monday or on a Tuesday, when you have everything set up to have a healthy meal, you decide for frozen pizza, frozen meal, or or you decide to order something. So that's the thing. On Saturday nights, we like to indulge ourselves, but from Monday to Friday, that's another thing. Organic spinach and organic spring mix. We always have leaves here and always organic. Milk. I use milk for, for my homemade bread and my husband for his smoothies. And as I already told you, I only buy lactose free because my husband doesn't feel that great when he, when he drinks normal milk. But if you don't have any type of intolerance, you don't need to buy lactose free milk. Buy the regular milk and you are going to be fine. Sweet potatoes, excellent source of carb. As I always say, complex carbs are your friends. So it's always a good idea to have sweet potatoes at home. Great, tom great tomatoes, organic. I always try to buy organic, of course. And another thing about tomatoes, here comes another tip. If you sometimes feel kind of, I don't like to use the, the word lazy, but you kind of, you're not in the mood to prepare a salad, but you want to eat more salad, it's always a good idea to have grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes because you don't need to cut them. So it's one prep less. And this way you just toss some spring mix, some tomatoes, and you have a salad. Of course, you, if you can add carrots, cucumber, radish, other good stuff, it's better, but at least it's less work this way. And, and yeah, I think that was everything. Oh yeah, and I passed by the pet shop to buy food for my dog because my dog these days, uh, she's not eating and we are kind of worried. She's kind of picky. She always was. It's kind of normal for her to have faces when she is eating a lot all the time and we have to actually control the, the portion. And sometimes she doesn't want to eat, but as long as she's doing well, as long as she has energy, we never worry too much because she's like that. But we are feeling for the last couple of months, I would say, she's not eating enough and she's getting very skinny. Even though she she's full of energy, we are kind of worried because she's not she's not a puppy anymore. <laughs> she she she's almost 11 now, so we are entering that phase when we have to be a little more worried about her health and we have to accept some facts of course but yeah so we are we were kind of worried because she's not eating her food so i got some treat for her it's how can i say it's a real food it's actually it looks good it says it's human grade so yeah if I'm hungry, who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. So I'm gonna try today to see if she eats something. So yeah, that was it. I'm gonna put everything away and I'm gonna have lunch because it's time for lunch. <music> Second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. I hold my breath, waiting for someone to knock at my door, telling me there is more waiting for me.
last week I, I told you here in the vlog that I was waiting for a deliver from Amazon. I was very excited about it and it finally came. It's the Gabriel Garcia Marquez last book. Actually, it's quote-unquote unfinished book. He didn't officially finish this book. It's a novel. It's a short novel, I would say. And I got it yesterday. It was scheduled for last Saturday, but it didn't arrive. And it finally arrived yesterday and I started to read right away and I almost finished it in one sitting. I don't remember the last time I did that, but anyways, he is one of my favorite authors, so I was so excited. Actually, he wrote my favorite book of all times, which is A Hundred Years of Solitude. Actually, it's his masterpiece. I, I was so excited for that. Oh, actually, I forgot to, to mention. The name in Spanish is En Agosto Nos Vemos, but in English is Until August. It's almost uh, literal. Uh, interesting story. I already told you that Spanish is not my first language, Portuguese is my first language. I'm from Brazil. When I was in college, a long, long time ago, I fell in love with Garcia Marquez and I decided to learn Spanish so I could read his books in Spanish. And many years after, here I am. It's a language that actually changed my life, I would say, because a lot of events happened after that decision of learning Spanish. I would say we don't have time for that right now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can say that this author changed my life. So I was pretty excited and I'm almost finishing it. So excuse me for a couple of minutes because I am dying to know what happens. Although it's not considered finished, it's a pretty good book. I okay, I'm biased because I love the author, but I have to say I love it. I could give you a lot of reasons. Most of the reasons are the same reasons why I fell in love with Garcia Marquez. But the thing I like it the most about this book is that the main character is a woman and it's a woman in her late 40s. And it's not a common thing to see this type of woman being the protagonist, I would say. Usually when we read books about love, we read about young people, young, beautiful women. So for me, it was refreshing to read a book about a woman in her 40s, in her late 40s. And although he doesn't describe her that much, you get a sense that she is sexy, she is powerful, she is... And although she has some episodes of self-doubt, she's definitely a strong woman. She's definitely, how can I say, she's definitely confident. And I love this because you don't see a lot of books written about women like this one. So that's what I like it. I forgot to say if you are, I assume that you already know Garcia Marquez, but anyways, he died more than 10 years ago and he actually left unfinished. And by unfinished, he didn't think that it was finished. It's not that the story is not finished. It has an end. I love it, the end, by the way. But he didn't approve, I would say, the, the final manuscript to be published. So that's why it's unfinished. And some people say it's not as good as his other novels. And some people were kind of against 
to see this book being published. The thing is, by the end of his life, he was suffering from dementia. So there is this debate, I would say there is this discussion about if he was capable to decide if he wanted to finish, if he wanted to be published. So it's kind of, there is this kind of polemic part on it. But overall, I love it. If you like Gabriel Garcia Marquez, especially if you are a woman in your 40s or in your 30s, any at any age, I would say, I think you would enjoy it. And it's pretty short. You can read in one sitting or two. It's a nice end of the afternoon reading, I would say. Be the cat in the sun Someday I will see the whole deal through today I've got better things to do Set this here to defrost until the end. Loosen up on the grind. Simmer down, settle back and mess around. Be the cat in the sun. And it's snowy again. I don't know if you can see it because it's it's not snowing as intense as it was this morning but yeah you can see a few snowflakes here and there it definitely doesn't seem like spring right now it's too cold to go outside the dog is asking me to open the door just for me right see if you like it it's cold right poor little thing i know i know it's a spring they say it's a spring it's definitely cold. Oh, there is still some snow there, and there, and here as well. Does it look like spring to you? The sky is kind of dark. I don't know if it's gonna rain. Someday, I will see the time let's prepare dinner <laughs> i left the shrimp defrosting during the afternoon as usual first i thought about the protein so i decided to prepare shrimps tonight and then i started thinking about what would go with the protein and i decided to make a pasta i'm gonna make a whole wheat pasta I mean, complex carbs, but I don't know much more than that. I didn't think about everything yet. So I'm gonna start by boiling water to cook the pasta, think about how I'm gonna season the shrimps, how I'm gonna make the, the sauce, and let's see what we get today. And, and that's how I like to approach making meals here at home. I like to start with the protein, as usual. I always say protein first, and then you build your dish from that. But sometimes I don't have a finished idea inside of my head. I just start cooking and see what I have. And I encourage you to do the same because this way it's fun. I mean, think about the protein, think about something that goes with the protein, and then think about the herbs and the seasonings you have at home and just have fun. Dinner should be 
fun. I, I hear clients complaining all the time about not liking to make dinner because they're tired or they just don't like it. And I always say try to make it a fun time. Invite your family, invite your dog, I don't know, your children, your spouse to cook with you. I think nowadays it's so hard to find time to spend quality time with our loved ones. So maybe that could be a good excuse for that. Maybe you could have this rule in your home that everybody gets together to make dinner, I don't know, at least once a week try it. But for now, let's make my dinner, our dinner, actually. I'm preparing for me and for my husband. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say For spending time with me. I hope I inspired you to try new things and live a healthier lifestyle, on your own terms of course. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like to help my channel grow. Consider subscribing as I post new videos every day. Until next time, keep shining, be happy and namaste.